everyone, I'm Jessica from Libraries NI. Uh, we normally do activities and craft sessions within the library, but I'd like to welcome you all to Libraries From Home. So today I'm going to show you how to make uh, paper flowers. Um, I have a few made up here in all different colours, like all the colours of the rainbow I tried to do, but um, I've made big ones and little ones. I've used the, made these ones from the leftover paper and they're a wee bit harder to make. So the bigger the better, they're easier to make if they're bigger. Um, but, and there's all different styles you can make, but I'm just going to show you how to make this style today. So, firstly, you'll need paper. Um, I'm just using this paper. At all. You can use any paper at all. There might be a newspaper lying about the house. You could even use old books that are going to be thrown out. You could recycle them and make them into these paper flowers. Um, you'll also need scissors. Um, there's cotton involved in this craft session. So, um, if you need assistance with cotton or you're very small, please ask your parent or guardian to give you a wee hand. And I'm sure they will. Um, just make sure they're shifty scissors as well, they're not too sharp or anything. <clears throat> also, glue. I'm going to be using PVA glue and the glue stick during this. Um, if you're an adult, you can use a hot glue gun. Um, just use a wee bit of glue on the side and fold the flowers over, you'll see when I'm making the flowers. Um, but at the minute, I'm going to be using a glue stick and PVA glue, which works just as well. It's not a necessity, but I'm using a paintbrush as well. Um, you can curl the edges of the flower with the paintbrush. You just wrap the paper around the flower and twist it. Um, it just gives it more of like a blooming effect. Um, and also I use this to sort of work around to get it under the right shape. Also, you'll need a pen as well too. You can freehand the shape with scissors or you can draw it out with your pen. So these are the flowers that I made previously and this is the style we're going to be making First, today. If you get a piece of paper, I've chosen this pale blue colour. So to do this, I'm going to... Put it over here and fold it down and I'm going to cut along this line. Now we have a square. Next we're going to have to put the square into four pieces because it's four pieces you need to make your flower. So the best way to do that is to fold it into four pieces like so and then cut along this line and cut along this line. You have four pieces so what you do is take one piece and fold it into a triangle fold it into another triangle just making sure all your sides are very even and then one more triangle with your four pieces of paper now we're going to fold them under triangles so we'll just fold it over once fold it over again just making all sure all the sides are very very equal and fold it one more time so that's three times you're folding it into a triangle and it should be like this. Next we need to shape them into petals. So you can freehand it with the scissors or you can draw on the shape. So you need a semicircle kind of shape and you go ahead and cut that out and it should leave you with this shape. So if you make four of them, we'll go on to the next step. You should now have four of these shapes. Next we're going to take the scissors again and take one of the flowers. We now cut out one of the petals. And you can throw away this piece, we don't need this piece. So you should have a shape like this. With the next petal, we're going to take, cut out two of the folds, two of the shape, and then three on the next, but keep this and this. The only one you don't keep is the single petal. And on the last petal, cut out four, so it is half of the flower. And you take away this one also. So now you should be left with one, two, three, four, five and six pieces like so. Take the biggest piece and you get your glue stick and you glue on one of the petals. Do it very, very gently so that your page does not rip. And bring this petal over to here and stick the yellow. So now you have this shape. Go ahead and do it with the, all of them the exact same way 
and I'll show you on the last step. So the next step is putting the flare together and I'm going to use some PVA glue for this. You only need a small taste because you want it to dry relatively quick. So if you take the biggest piece and glue the inside, just down the bottom of the inside, and take the next piece and put it on. Kind of fold it together a wee bit. And repeat again with the next small piece. And again. Make sure to push them down nice and firm. So, I take a pen, the pimp brush next, or a small sticker, anything, just to put it in, twist it round, just to give it a better shape. And again, with the petals on the outside, you can do that as well. You can bend them round. Twist the paintbrush and it'll give the effect that they're like bent, like this here, like they've bloomed outwards. Now go ahead and leave your flowers to dry. You can keep doing more. Um, just remember to use square and not rectangle paper. There you go, you've made your first paper flower. So thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you have lots and lots of fun making all your different types of paper flowers. Um, you can show us your paper flowers, um, get your parent or guardian to upload them to their social media sites using the hashtag LibrariesNI and hashtag LibrariesFromHome. Also check out the LibrariesNI website for more information about online programs and our ebooks and e-magazine service. Um, thank yous again and hope to see you all soon. Bye!